everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's incredibly important. Leukemia. Leukemia is a type of cancer that affects the blood and bone marrow, and it's crucial to recognize the early warning signs so that treatment can begin as soon as possible. So, let's get started. Leukemia starts when the DNA of a single cell in your bone marrow changes, mutates, and can't develop and function normally. Leukemia cells often behave like abnormal white blood cells. Treatments for leukemia depend on the type of leukemia you have, your age and overall health, and if the leukemia has spread to other organs or tissues. Leukemia is a cancer of the blood, characterized by the rapid growth of abnormal blood cells. This uncontrolled growth takes place in your bone marrow, where most of your body's blood is made. Leukemia cells are usually immature, still developing, white blood cells. The term leukemia comes from the Greek words for white, leukos, and blood, hyema. Unlike other cancers, leukemia doesn't generally form a mass tumor. That shows up in imaging tests such as x-rays or CT scans. There are many types of leukemia. Some are more common in children while others are more common in adults. Treatment depends on the type of leukemia and other factors. How does leukemia develop? Leukemia begins in bone marrow, the soft, spongy tissue in the inner cavity of your bones, where your body's blood cells are made. Blood cells go through multiple stages before reaching their fully mature forms. Mature, normal blood cells include red blood cells, cells that carry oxygen and other vital materials to all tissues and organs in your body. White blood cells, cells that fight infection. Platelets, cells that help your blood clot. These blood cells start as hematopoietic stem cells. The stem cells develop into either myeloid cells or lymphoid cells or lymphoid cells if blood cells were to continue to develop normally. The mature forms of these cells are as follows. Myeloid cells develop into red blood cells, platelets, and certain types of white blood cells, basophils, eosophils, and neutrophils, and neutrophils. Lymphoid cells develop into certain white blood cells, lymphocytes, and natural killer cells. However, if you have leukemia, one of the developing blood cells begins to multiply out of control. These abnormal cells, called leukemia cells, begin to take over the space inside of your bone marrow. They crowd out the cells trying to develop into healthy red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. What causes leukemia? Leukemia starts when the DNA of a single cell in your bone marrow changes, mutates. DNA is the instruction code that tells a cell when to grow how to develop and when to die. Because of the mutation or coding error, leukemia cells keep multiplying. All cells arising from the original mutated cell also have the mutated DNA. Scientists don't know what causes these developing cells to mutate. They've been able to identify some common mutations that people diagnosed with different types of leukemia share. Anyone can develop leukemia. Still, studies have shown that certain factors may increase your risk, including Previous cancer treatment. Past cancer treatments involving radiation or chemotherapy may increase the likelihood you'll develop some types of leukemia. Smoking. If you have a history of smoking or exposure to secondhand smoke, you're at increased risk of developing acute myelogenous leukemia. Exposure to industrial chemicals. Benzene and formaldehyde are known cancer, causing chemicals found in building materials and household chemicals. Benzene is used to make plastics, rubbers, dyes, pesticides, drugs, and detergents. Formaldehyde is in building materials and household products such as soaps, shampoos, and cleaning products. Certain genetic disorders. Genetic disorders such as neurofibromatosis, Klinefelter syndrome, Schwachmann, Diamond syndrome, and Down syndrome and Down syndrome may increase your risk. Family history of leukemia. Research suggests that some types of leukemia may run in families. In most cases, however, having a relative with leukemia doesn't mean that you or another family member will also develop leukemia. Tell your healthcare provider if you or a family member has a genetic condition. They may recommend genetic testing to assess your risk. Signs and Symptoms The symptoms of leukemia in adults can range from general feelings of being unwell to abdominal swelling due to problems with the spleen an immune system organ. Usually a system organ, usually a person may experience the following symptoms. 1. Persistent fatigue or weakness. The first sign to be aware of is persistent fatigue or weakness. 
Leukemia can cause a decrease in red blood cells, leading to feelings of exhaustion, even after rest. If you find yourself constantly tired despite getting enough sleep, it's essential to pay attention to your body. 2. Unexplained Weight Loss Next, keep an eye out for unexplained weight loss. While weight loss can be caused by various factors, sudden and unintentional weight loss without changes to diet or exercise could be a potential indicator of leukemia. 3. Frequent Infections or Illnesses Another common symptom is frequent infections or illnesses. Leukemia can impair the body's ability to fight off infections, leaving you more susceptible to getting sick. If you find yourself getting sick more often than usual, it's crucial to get checked out by a doctor. 4. Easy Bruising or Bleeding Bruising or bleeding easily is another warning sign to watch out for. Leukemia can affect the body's ability to produce platelets, which are responsible for blood clotting. If you notice unusual bruising or bleeding, especially without any apparent cause, it's essential to seek medical attention. 2. Abdominal Swelling As leukemia cells multiply, they may start to build up in the spleen and the liver. The presence of excess cells can cause these organs to enlarge. As a result, a person may experience feelings of abdominal fullness or swelling. 3. Bleeding Problems Some types of leukemia can destroy platelets, a blood cell type responsible for helping stop bleeding. As a result, a person may notice that they bleed more easily if they have a cut. They may also have bleeding gums or frequent nosebleeds. 4. Bone or Joint Pain Be mindful of bone pain or tenderness. Leukemia can cause pain or discomfort in the bones, especially in the arms and legs. Abnormal cells can build up near or inside bones, which can cause unexplained bone or joint pain. This pain can range from a dull ache to severe pain and discomfort. If you're experiencing persistent bone pain that doesn't go away with rest or over, the counterpain medication, it's crucial to see a doctor. 5. Increased Incidence of Infections Leukemia can destroy the white blood cells that help fight off infections. As a result, people with the condition can experience higher rates of infection and fever due to low white blood cell counts. A person may feel as though they are always sick and fighting off various viral and bacterial illnesses. They may also have a low-grade fever. 6. Lymph Node Enlargement Next, pay attention to swollen lymph nodes. Lymph nodes are a key aspect of the body's immune system as they filter fluid and potentially harmful substances from the body. If leukemia cells spread and multiply, they may reach lymph nodes in the body. A person or doctor may be able to feel the lymph nodes as fluid, filled lumps under the skin. Common locations where lymph node enlargement may occur include 1. Either side of the groin 2. The sides of the neck 3. Under the arms Sometimes, the lymph node swelling is not to a degree where a person can feel the swollen nodes. 7. Superior vena cava SUVC, syndrome Some people have a form of leukemia that affects T-cells in the thymus. The thymus is a gland near the trachea, or windpipe, that acts as an immune and endocrine system organ. If leukemia cells are present in the thymus, the gland can start to swell and place pressure on the SUVC. This large vein transports blood to the heart from the upper body. The pressure from the thymus on the SUVC can cause blood to back up in the veins, which can lead to dizziness, headaches, and swelling of the chest, arms, face, and neck. Some people may even experience changes in thinking and consciousness because of affected blood flow from the vein. SUVC syndrome is a serious medical complication of leukemia that requires immediate medical treatment. 8. Anemia, a low red blood cell count. Red blood cells carry oxygen around the body. This condition may contribute to weakness, fatigue, or shortness of breath. How is leukemia treated? Treatments for leukemia depend on the type of leukemia you have, your age and overall health, and if the leukemia has spread to other organs or tissues. Common treatments often include a combination of the following. 1. Chemotherapy 2. Immunotherapy 3. Radiation Therapy 4. Targeted Therapy 5. Radiation Therapy 6. Stem Cell or Bone Marrow Transplant What is the survival rate of leukemia? Although the number of new cases of leukemia in the U.S. has remained relatively steady or slightly increased since the 1970s, the survival rate has also improved. 
Still, long-term outcomes vary for each person's. Can leukemia be cured? There isn't a cure for leukemia, but this doesn't mean some people don't achieve long-term remission. Being cured of leukemia means that the cancer's gone, it's not coming back and no more treatment is needed. But this is hard to know for sure with leukemia. Any cancer diagnosis is scary, but a leukemia diagnosis may feel especially so. It can be difficult to imagine what the treatment experience will be like without a tumor that can be removed, but being aware of these early warning signs can help catch leukemia in its early stages, leading to better treatment outcomes. If you or someone you know is experiencing any of these symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. Remember, early detection saves lives. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.